Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fancies. So in this video, we are going to see how to install the desktop Linux operating system on our Realme Pad. So here I'm going to use a uh, Androidix Andronix application to do that. So this is just a screen recording of the thing that I was doing uh, earlier. So I just start to record it uh, in the uh, through the screen recorder and just to work <laughs> give a voice over behind it and i can do it. so here as you can see just to download this app from andronix uh, linux on android application so second i'm just installing the vnc viewer so once the server is running in the um, in the linux environment uh, sorry in the terminal we can just uh, mirror the screen uh, with the port and we can show them in here here I'm going to use the Ubuntu uh, 20.04. You have some premium version also, which is lightweighter, which runs smoother than the uh, free one. So the paid one is uh, 150 rupees for uh, for a build. You have a Ubuntu, Manjaro and Kali Linux. Here, as I said, I'm just going to install the Ubuntu free one. Once you have it, you also need a Terramax app, which gives the ability to uh, mess up with the uh, command line uh, terminal. So, also, once you get this page, you just uh, make sure you get to the documentations where you can get the exact detail how this works. Also, you should not use the uh, Termex from the Play Store. There are some certain version, I guess. So you need to download it from F Drive, which you can get it in the documentation link. Also, just to mention here, I'm just using my uh, my wireless keyboard and mouse, which you have, which is only one dongle connects both the thing. I'm just connected through the uh, uh what usb otg drive otg cable so i'm just using it through my mouse and the keyboard in the laptop so that's why it is easy for me to switch between uh, the windows if you want to know how i am just making this uh, uh squared windows you can watch the video which appears in the card right now so now i will open the ubuntu app ubuntu option and i will just select the focal fossa which is uh, 20.04 i just click install and i am just going to use the uh, desktop environment here GUI selection it will be a little bit easy so yeah and now i it will just automatically copy the uh, comments i am just opening the uh, termux you don't need any uh, super su or something. You can just run it uh, as usual. It also works in other this one. You need to just need to right click and you need to paste the uh, paste the code. If you don't need have a mouse, you can use the long press and you can paste it. Once it is done, I will just click the enter in the keyboard or also you can enable the uh, keyboard in the so in the options of terminal ter termux and you can just use that take some time so we'll just uh, uh, wait for some time it takes something like uh, 2 to 4 gb of size from your internal also it just download some file uh, like 900 mb or more than that so your internet also plays main role here if you are just confused, you can just slow down this video and you can uh, follow up the steps one by one. So here I just selected yes, but the default option is N. Maybe it is asking as I have already installed the um, uh, this uh, packages earlier so that's why for you it may not show just a single that paste will give you the exact things so i'm just giving the access uh, to uh, photos and the uh, uh, basically i'm giving the access to, to the storage so the things are getting installed now i'll just fast forward the things 
in the left side top you can see the time how long it is taking and all now it is asking for the region i will just select the asia which is the sixth one okay i just selected the sixth here so inside the six we have uh, we have kolkata which is 44 i will select that so asia and then kolkata 44 So what it is actually doing is it is just downloading the uh, necessary files of uh, Linux uh, and then it is just deploying all the things land libraries. So the keyboard layout, I maybe I will be selecting English uh, US, which is uh, thirty one. I am now just selecting English US number one. It is actually taking some pretty good amount of time. So yeah. So it is still installing. Now the time is 10:58. It's almost more than 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so now it has been installed. It has run the comment of VNC server. The server also already installed. So uh, we are just giving the password. I will just give one simple password. So now it is asking to start with the dynamic and I'm just uh, going to start with the HD ready, which is a 720 pixel. So it will just run a little bit smoother. I, of course, ours is a 1080 pixel, but yeah, I'm just, uh, uh, running it on uh, 720 so once you get the root at a local host it means uh, you are currently inside the uh, linux environment in the termux so i am just now opening the termux app the address will be localhost uh, colon one so i am just give, clicking on plus icon which you can which same uh, and you will give give the address as localhost colon one which is the first port i am just giving my computer name as uh, test so you have it i will just click on this one and it asks the password so i am giving the password so now i am giving the password which i have set it on the terminal so once it is there i am also just enabling the option to uh, remember it so it will automatically open in the next time no need to provide the password again so this is our Linux, it is not fully loaded now. So in next uh, boot it will open uh, fully. So this is how it looks. It is uh, same like the desktop uh, uh, Linux. So when I was searching the option to <laughs> install the Windows operating system inside our uh, tablet, uh, I did uh, it won't happen, uh, of course. Uh, so I just uh, eventually found this method, uh, which worked uh, in my opinion uh, really well. 
so why what is the use case exactly uh, you can perform uh, some um, basic features of uh, your uh, personal computer in here like uh, uh, using the email and browser here we have the chromium browser uh, which works like uh, chrome in your uh, desktop version of course you can uh, switch the uh, uh, your normal android chrome to a desktop uh, um, view or something like that but this is different actually and you will get the full fledged uh, desktop experience if you connect the mouse and the keyboard and second uh, useful thing i think is its terminal you can uh, use it uh, for uh, any programming things like uh, python example it uh, i i just installed this version uh, this method uh, to just to test some python codes here i will just install the python you can just use a um, apt get install python which will install the python in this one and you can use it in the vs code yes we have the uh, vs code for the arm based uh, linux distro you have you can you don't have all the application whichever you can use it in the linux some of them won't work in the arm based uh, this one so that's what the video about installing the uh, installing the linux in your uh, desktop version of linux in this one so so now the question is how i can uh, shut down this how, how i will do is i will just click the root and i will just log out here You can just log out it and you can type vnc vnc uh, vnc iphone stop which will stop the server you need to provide the server port usually it is one so i am just giving one which will stop the port i will just uh, type exit and exit off So next time how you can start is you can put the dot forward slash once the vn service is started you can put uh, dot uh, forward slash start iphone uh, ubuntu20.sh you can find all the details in the description which you can use it to use it.